Okay, let's go in there and check everything out. I hope you're having a blessed day. Uh, it sure is beautiful weather, and uh, let's go. So we're about to check out this amazing home, but I did want to mention, okay, this is a house that I toured at the Hamilton uh, plant back a little it's been a year or so ago but this house is still being sold manufactured it's had a lot of dealerships and stuff that i go to so i thought this would be a great one to put here on the second channel give you some updated information at the end so stick around for that but yeah just want to let you know what was going on i hope you enjoy y'all drop a comment what is going on everyone look at this brand new model you guys this is about to be spectacular so what we have right here is a brand new home manufactured by winston home builders just a quick scan we've got several new models i'm gonna be touring them all putting them all here on the channel they're still tidying things up a little bit on a few of them but anyways i'm gonna show you a couple things on this exterior and then we're gonna head on in. This is this house right here is a little bit of a kind of a smaller double wide, but man, some of the features in this one is crazy. I obviously love the colors they went with on this one. They went with the white vinyl. You got the brown shutters with the uh, tan windows. Notice we have the recessed lights in the eaves there. And I'm gonna show you more on the front porch and all that. But I wanted to say. The vinyl stuff's not on the end, so just look past that if you will. Now, let me hop over here and show you something. So, I got to show you just a couple things back here, and then we'll head on to that front porch. I wanted to show you, though, look at this, sliding doors that we have down about, not exactly middle ways of the house, but that's your uh, dining area right there, which we'll see all that. And, I, and just keep in mind when it comes to ordering homes like these, a lot of different options and everything. So y'all stay tuned to the channel, for, like I said, for all these other homes. If you enjoy the type, these types of tours, I'm going to encourage you to hit that subscribe button notification bell and drop us a like, if you will. I would appreciate that a lot. Now let's check out this porch. Okay. So I did a little something different right here around the porch. We got this shake vinyl here. And then we've got the beams right here with a little bit of railing. Now keep in mind, this is, this the way they got they got these homes set up here is set up really high. I wouldn't necessarily be this high once it was on someone's location. I love when you have some type of front porch on a home. It just, you know, creates a lot of cover. Uh, really? <laughs> It, it, what, what I'm trying to say, y'all, is it, you know, if it's raining out, you can run under here and you're not getting, you're trying to find, you're fumbling your keys, this and that, can't find them. So, oh, wow, look at that. This window right here. Ooh. Okay, let's go in there and check everything out. I hope you're having a blessed day. Uh, it sure is beautiful weather. And uh, let's go. So, y'all, this is some brand new models, like I've already mentioned, like five times, but. What I'm trying to get to and say is like the floor plans are really, really nice. Something, I mean, we're talking some floor plans like you've never seen. So this is going to be fun. And this one right here definitely has that. And there are a bit, there's a lot of feet. That's a nice coat closet right there. There's a lot of feet, new features. I'm going to try to talk about as I see them. But maybe what I'm trying to get to is if y'all see something that I don't mention, drop in the comment section for other viewers. So as you walk in, we've got the coat closet there. And then we have our living room. The kitchen's over here to my left, which we'll see in just a second. Hang tight. This is, this is, something about this vibe right here is like real, uh, feels real relaxing. You got the electric fireplace down here. I do have to mention this, something I do know they have done in a lot of these models. Start, we got more of a rolled countertop right here. And then over here, I told y'all this was a dime. 
I, mm, mm, trying to like I know I was trying to like I knew what I was talking about. I really didn't. So this isn't your dining area. It's over there. We're gonna check it out. But that's cool. Still perfectly set up for a back porch off those sliding doors. I like what they that they went with the carpet continued over in here. Just nice little sitting area. Now, now we're gonna check out this kitchen. So yeah, like I mentioned, a little bit of a smaller house. Perfect three bed, two bath for somebody needing, you know, wanting a double wide, but not wanting something crazy large that, you know, you gotta heat and cool all this square footage. This is kind of ideal. Take a look at the backsplash right here. Give you a shot of this flooring. I don't think I've seen this. This must be some new flooring. I don't think I've seen this in any of their homes. Hey, I'll have more information in the description. I forgot to mention that when we walked in. More information on this house in the description if you have anything like far as model information, size, square footage, all that kind of stuff. And then uh, here's that window that we've seen out on the porch. Hey. You got your dishwasher right here in the kitchen island. All right. Where to now? Okay, let's, I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to take a moment and check out the fact that they put a Bible in here. <laughs> I'm, I'm digging that. I see you, Winston. I see you. Okay, we're going to go down here, take us a lift, check out. We've got a couple bedrooms, bathroom, got a utility room down here. Let's get some light in this hall, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you want? Okay, so we'll go ahead and start out with our bath. I got to tell y'all, I'm thinking about it because I, uh, I just, uh, we just put it up the other day. But if y'all hadn't checked out Color's channel, you need to, uh, which obviously it's a lot of toys and stuff like that. So you may not care anything about watching it. But maybe you got kids or grandkids that would like to see it. It's called Cullen's Corner, and I keep a link to it, uh, a link in the description straight to it if you want to go from there. So what I'm thinking about in this bathroom right here is the fact that it's a good-sized bathroom, even though this is a little bit of a smaller home. You know, sometimes that second bath can be you know, a little smaller if you're messing, if you're dealing with a little bit of a smaller house. Not the case here in this one. Gonna have carpet in these bedrooms. Oh my goodness. Nice size closet. Straight down, straight across, we have us another bedroom. I think uh, it looks like maybe this closet is a little bit smaller. Yeah, a little bit smaller than the other one. Check out our crown molding that we have. Yeah, we're going to have crown molding and baseboards throughout this house. And then you've got the really nice trim around your doors and your windows as well. Thermal pane windows. This is the windows you can kind of pull out and clean if you need to. Pretty much uh, all homes are going to have that, them these days. But yeah. Now, before we head down there and look at the other end with that main bedroom, main bath and all. We have to take one moment and go into this utility room. And I want to go... I was afraid, I was like, man, if I don't do it right, I won't forget it. So behind right here is, will be access to your water heater. We've got our breaker box right here on this side. And then we have our uh, furnace right here. Now the width on this utility room isn't just crazy. I like to see that you have a window up there because 
which is bringing in a lot of light. But I mean, even with the lights off, you still have a lot of light in here. I like to see that you have a sink. But what I was trying to get to is, yeah, it's not really just crazy wide, but it's very, it's the whole, it's this whole section over here. So it's going about 15 foot. That's what you're looking at. But you got the sink. You got the spot for your washer and dryer. You got plenty of room right here. And you got a lot of cabinets. So, I mean, what else do you really need? Okay. The main bedroom is right there. Are y'all ready? We're gonna sneak down there. I'm scared we're gonna go, right? I'm scared we're gonna, we're gonna sneak down there. I'm, uh, okay. Yes, ma'am. I tell you what I do like, I get in the comment section all the time. I see in the comment section, y'all are like, I don't like the bedroom right outside the front door, the main bedroom. I like how you got this right here, kind of breaks that up with your, with your coat closet. And then as you come into the main bedroom, I see, I see what you do. <laughs> no, I, I like that. Mm-hmm. My goodness, what a bad. Oh, don't beat me. Okay, so here is obviously our biggest room in the home. I'll do my best to have measurements and stuff, but honestly, you guys, these homes have just, like, like as far as I know, this is like the, I mean, they're still fixing some of them up, so they're just now coming out. I don't know how much I'll be able to have. As I get it over time, I'll try to add it. Most of that will be in the description. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So we got two sinks in here. We got the same countertop. So we got that rolled edge in here. Got cabinets. I love the light fixtures in this bathroom. Look at the drawers and the cabinets that you have right here. It's great. Oh, so I like how they did this on your tub. Just kind of catch, kind of caught my eye when I walked in here. Super cool. Plus you got the frosted uh, window right here for your privacy, but, but still gonna bring in that light. Look at them, they just having a heyday. They at the beach, oof. That sounds, that looks very relaxed. Okay, back to the tour. Got your uh, water closet here. This is a good size room, look at that, look how. Look how big that is. Okay, I like this. The fact that we have no wire racks here in our main bedroom closet, and wow at the size of this. Once again, I gotta go back, this is kind of a smaller double wide, but they didn't uh, cut you short right here on your closet. Look how big this is. So if I'm just thinking out loud, this room kind of offers everything for the amount of space that you have, everything that you need in a home. What do y'all say? Y'all drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Such a huge closet. Now we're going to finish things up with a towel shower. So if you don't like that towel, just hang tight. Check it out. Look at it. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. They went with two different designs right here. I've actually seen this in some uh, like uh, powder rooms and stuff in some homes, like as far as the floor. Looks really good as well. But that's something I'm I'm sure we're gonna see as we tour more of these homes. This is actually the first one that I've done here. We're gonna see a lot of new options as far as like tile, colors, and all that kind of good stuff. That's a real big shower. I like, last thing I'll say is I like that your handle's down here and that way you ain't gotta worry about getting your hands wet and all that, we turn it on, wow. Okay, so yeah, the, this house is a home that is still being built. I see it a lot at a lot of the regional dealerships and stuff that I go to. 
Um, so I thought this was a perfect fit to put here on the second channel, kind of repost it. And also because it's a, uh, it's a smaller home, but it's very nice. The price point, I think for, you know, the quality, this is, you know, the size and everything is great. Um, we're going to get into that. I just wanted to say that I will have some information in the description. If you want to see some of the other homes that I did there, there was probably eight or so that I did, uh, there, you could just go to the main channel and just scroll back and you'll start seeing, seeing, well, you'll see this thumbnail. Actually, I'm going to pop it up a thumbnail that's on the main channel. And then once you see that, all the other ones are going to be right there close to it. That'd be a good way. It's about the only way I can really tell you to do that. But uh, anyways, let's just get right into it. Estimated retail pricing. I'll just keep in mind, what I'm going to do is just give you some pricing, uh, basically kind of a range because depending on what dealership this house is at, where it's at, how far it's got to be freighted, uh, you know, since it's built here in Hamilton, if, if this house is being sent out to Texas at one of the retailers there, pricing stuff's going to be a little higher. Or as if it's a dealership in Alabama that's just right down the road, you know, you don't have as much freight, just stuff like that. The county uh, regulations that you're going to have setting the house up, all the different state fees and stuff like that. But this will be arranged for you, give you a great idea. Here you go. All right, well, I'll ha I have a video coming out on the main channel tomorrow night, so I hope y'all come check it out. Uh, that's Chances Home World. If you have not seen the main channel, Chances Home World, link in the description. Uh, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all real, real soon.